Good morning, everyone. Let us continue in an attitude of prayer and reflection. Lord, this day of remembrance almost seems more poignant this year, as not only do we bring before you those remembering loved ones lost through acts of war and unrest, but those loved ones taken due to this terrible virus. The sad part is, Lord, that whether it be through acts of violence, the virus or natural causes, we all have our individual prayers and thoughts of people who, although parted from us now, have played a part in making us the people we are today. Lord, we pray for your closeness and comfort to surround each one in their need at this time. You are the only one who can bring that perfect assurance and hope into the path ahead. Help us to be channels for you to work through. Help us to bring comfort to those you have brought near to us, whether it be through the words that you give, through prayer or in practical need. Help us to be faithful in all we do and say. We lay before you those in our fellowship who have recently been parted from their dear ones. Viv and Steve, Pamela and Renee, Shirley and Andrew, Margaret, Carrie, Jackie, and of course all their families too. We also think of those both within our fellowship and those in a wider circle of family, friends and colleagues who are suffering at this time. You know each one by name and we pray for your touch upon their lives. Lord, this has been quite the week. Last Sunday there seemed to be a darkness in the air, as we came to terms with the news of another lockdown, like a cloud descending upon us. And yet it was within a cloud that you led the Israelites out of Egypt. So Lord, within this cloud that is covering your world at this time, may you lead us into new realms with you. May our eyes be opened afresh to the way ahead. Keep us close that we may not wander from the pathway that leads to freedom. And along the way, may we gather others to accompany us through to new life in you. Another prominent news item this week has been the election of President in the United States of America. Lord, this is such a close contest and there is so much unrest in that land. May this situation change. May there be a change of hearts and attitude over the next four years. May there be a building of unity to make the name United States of America come to fruition. In the meantime, may your hand be upon both parties in coming to an acceptance of the votes cast. We lift the leaders around the world in prayer as they seek to lead their own countries but with thoughts of other nations too. We pray for your servants around the world, that they may be renewed and strengthened daily in order to continue to spread your word, even in these troubled times. Once again, Lord, we lay before you the scientists working on a vaccine to combat COVID and all those working within the realms of medicine to help those who are sick, not just with COVID, but generally. We also bring before you those who have needs with health, both physically and mentally, within our fellowship and beyond, that you may lay your hands upon their lives as an assurance of your nearness in a time of need. That is our prayer for all, that our hope will not fade, that we will all be lifted up by your great love that surrounds us in different ways and different forms each day. Show us your light in the darkness, that flower in the winter, the stars on a clear night, the unexpected call when we long to hear a friendly voice, the sense of your arms of comfort when we are lonely. Lord, we lift these prayers along with our own silent thoughts to you in the knowledge that you listen and answer in the way you know to be best for each one of us. In your love we pray. Amen.